Hello, everybody. These days are flying by way too fast. Already. But I just realized that Veterans Day is next Wednesday, which means my paternity leave gets extended by a day. Yes. So you're just doing some work. It's literally the last piece. I need to send this work out to it. An email. They're going to respond and say yes or no, and then I need to just submit a file. It'll be done. And it'll be but officially. it'll be good. You'll feel good. Um, I actually have been holding James most of today. Yeah. Which is great. No. No complaints. Yes, complaints. Good. By me. Well, you got to do your work. But now you're working with him, and that's pretty cool. Um, good night's sleep. There was, like, a ghost in our machine our amazon voice machine was being possessed <laughs> yeah it was i was more that was more like that woke us up more than this little like baby. How i got it, i stormed out of bed and just ripped off the <laughs> the cord out of the alexa yeah um but yeah another good night another good morning and we're just gonna be at home today What did the Petruses do for us? They bought us lunch from the vegan Crunchwrap Supreme Delicious place that we've been wanting to go we to. We always say it wrong. Leguminati. Leguminati. And I can say it right because it's right in front of me. <laughs> Baby boy is sleeping so good today. Little nap. He's eating so good today. Yes, please. Peter asked if I wanted a Pepsi. Um, little boy's been doing good with a little bit of formula. He really likes it, which is great. Um, and I'm actually like starting to pump and to like feel better about like everything I'm producing. So I am pumped for our um, appointment tomorrow to see if he has gained the weight back. I think he has. We've been doing a good job at like making his belly full. Alrighty, and now we're gonna make our bellies full. This is the chicken parmesan it's fully vegan i didn't know we were getting chips on the side so that's nice see, she sounds like a she sounds like a big dog now and then peter got like a california style chicken sriracha concoction back it up how many shots of peter have you seen in this chair with no baby with no baby and now look at you go i got a baby you like feeding him? I do. I'm excited for when like we're gonna get to the point where like you're pumping mm -hmm. and I use that. Yeah. But um, but little, little man's gotta get some weight up. Yeah. So ain't no problem with that. Right. And truly, if if formulas are out, formulas are out. Old Navy Hall. Guess who's getting ready for Christmas time? Amy, what is that thing? What is that? That's your friend? That's your new friend? He's been more like afraid today, like doesn't want to get too close, but still very so intrigued. Just hanging out with my pup and my babe. I feel like he hasn't really like seen her, but his eyes look like, what is this? What is that? They're both feeling the same way. <laughs> Three hours later, I've been hanging out with James Sarah's been ending the vlog, and the theme of the Old Navy arrival continues. This right here is the bulk of our Christmas decorations. Yes, we are decorating for Christmas tonight, which means this book, I think is going to go on our coffee table. I saw Santa in Chicago. Oh, Sarah and I realized we were supposed to go to the store, so instead, with the whole Christmas decorating, I'm running to Publix to grab a quick few like necessities, plus a bottle of wine for myself and a bottle of cranberry sparkling celebratory drink for Sarah. Um, also hit me for the first time that it is like daylight saving time. It's 6.30, look how dark it is. I forgot about that whole thing that happened while we were in the hospital. Just a list of two things and a bunch of logos. And almost everything here, logo. Oh! Everybody talks about Target as trouble when you go to with like a little, a few things and you end up leaving with the whole store. If you live in the southern region of the U.S. where you have Publix, 
please in the comments let me know that I'm not the only person. I'm worse at Publix than I am at Target. Halloween was weird. Wasn't Halloween weird? Yeah, I'm missing Rupert already. I feel like we didn't enjoy Rupert enough because he was up high, five, high, high, high. Yeah. Oh, you had an outfit change. I got myself red wine in aged rum barrels. <laughs> I'll show it. And I got Sarah that, I, I didn't even tell you, that was the very last bottle. And I saw a guy eyeing it and I was Alright, so you saw Peter <laughs> go to Publix. I sat with James and he was like on my chest and I was like, I wonder if this is so calming because he can hear my heartbeat like really close. Like he used to like live next to my heart. Like four days ago. <laughs> so I lay with him for a while. We are gonna decorate and have some treats. Look at what Peter got. Alrighty, what kind of 19 crimes did you get? The Punisher that's called? Which I usually don't get red wines, they just say red wines because they're usually like a mix. I usually like Cabernets. Um, but I do like ones that are aged in rum barrels because they just had a little zing to them with the flavor. Yeah. We are in need of grocery shopping, but we prepared to have dinner, so we got some lunch stuff. And also, we've been kicking butt with keeping up with the dishes. So here's my sparkling apple cranberry. We got cheese it's for a last hurrah of sorts. Soups for easy lunches for me. Peter got spinach for his little wraps he does. We also got some bread. Um, Granny Smith apples are our favorite. And then he surprised us with this. Coconut seven layer and cookie dough. Also, I have my It's a Wonderful Life shirt on. You are now in Bedford Falls. And that's what Peter's shirt is from. The um, Bailey Building and Loan. If you haven't watched It's a Wonderful Life, And I also put Peter's Christmas jammies on. In case we deprived you of James for too long here. Here he is in his little plain get up. Awfully noisy over here. Sorry, it's Halloween's out of here and we need to celebrate Christmas for a million trillion reasons, um, especially because it's the best time of the year. But I kind of Magic wanna... Kingdom and Hollywood Studios are already decorated and we're Guys, when we go to, when we go to the when we go to the pediatrician tomorrow. We're asking when we can release James to but the world. More so, yeah, like we're asking to be like to be cautious. To be cautious. To be smart. To get the facts. Yeah. To talk it through and through. Yeah. And that's that. Yeah, I mean we're only gonna do things we're confident. So if we like decided to go to Magic Kingdom in four days, we would just own it. Right. But we'd do it in a safe way. Exactly. But we just wanna ask our pediatrician all the questions. Right. So don't you don't you worry about us. We're always going to do what's right for our family, like always. We got the new Grinch on. That's a Grinch. No. We should get her a Grinch outfit, it would be so cute. She just always loves the changing of the seasons because there's so many scents, look at that nose go. End of an era. My good luck dress has a bunch of holes in it and we deserve nice things and I can have new good luck dresses. I was wearing this dress like here when we found out about Sweet Pea. Here when we found out about James. Actually, with that blanket. You've got into our pantry. <laughs> <laughs> and so many other big appointments. It's a special dress. But I'm gonna throw it away. It's got too many holes in it. So Eve is like, they've been kind of uncertain of each other. Eve's almost been scared, but just now, James started like rustling and making noises. And Eve like walked over really quick and like looked up at James, looked over at Sarah. Looked up at James, looked over at Sarah, and Sarah's like, oh, yeah, is he making noise? And she gave us that look like, yeah, do something about it. It it, it needs you. We've been super active and like showing the vlog what we've been doing, but this is also the reality that I had major surgery and <laughs> every once in a while, I just need to be. But that's what I'm here for. Yeah, of course. We've been kicking butt with teamwork, but I... I want to be real about it too. Yeah, like, you had your gut and your uterus and layers of muscle and skin cut through and staple closed. Yeah, and that was like a tenth of what we actually did. <laughs> so right. I just like, I posted a cute picture on Instagram, you know, everything is 
so joyful. But, but what you like, don't see is, is the uh, stretchy, as I know well, it's not on right see, now. You do yeah. see, yeah. But like, you don't forget that we have like that pelvic what's band, that? That, band that's yeah. comes, like pulling in all Sarah's muscles to help heal them and how she will take a sweet walk, like slow walk to the kitchen and back. Just, yeah. we're just, you gotta heal properly and safe. Three hours later. I think that's the second time you said that today. Oh, well, it feels like this day is 300 <laughs> days long. We did not finish decorating. But I think, like, Christmas is a lot to decorate for. Yeah. Like, even Disney World doesn't do it in one day. Yeah. But we had FaceTime my mom for a while, and then we just really looked cozy on the couch. Yeah. So how can you deny cozy time with such a sweet baby? Yeah. Gonna eat some snacks. We'll probably go to bed. By snacks, we got Cheez Its and ice cream. It's funny, the ice cream is non dairy, but Cheez Its. <sighs> dairy. Definitely has dairy. Thursday, November 6th, a short and sweet one by Mary Oliver. You must not ever stop being whimsical. Thank you, Mary. I am tired. Me too. I think I'll, I haven't got anything else to say. <laughs> It's so fun these days where it's just got nothing to do but be together. It's good to be home. It's good to be home. We know what our goals are, we know what we hope to accomplish, and believe me, it's the most exciting and challenging assignment we've ever tackled at Walt Disney Productions. <laughs>